Thank you for tuning in to Scissor Tail Streams, where each week we have a local Oklahoma City artist perform here at Scissor Tail Park. Uh, this week we're going to be at Union Station, which uh, has just recently been given a, uh, an amount to renovate and turn into a venue here at the park. So we're excited to have the future of live music here on the park at Union Station. Um, Edgar Cruz is our artist this week. He has uh, performed here at the park previously for our grand opening. Um, and we're just so excited to be able to continue to bring uh, programming, to bring art, and give a platform to uh, Oklahoma City artists to keep bringing you uh, music at home. So uh, check out Edgar Cruz at edgarcruz.com. He's on PayPal, uh, Venmo, Cash App, and he's offering free CDs with any donation to anybody in need right now. So check him out on Facebook, on his website, and enjoy episode five of Scissor Tail Streams with Edgar Cruz. Welcome to uh, Streams. My name is Edgar Cruz. I uh, couldn't be more thrilled to be a part of this show. That first song is an original off the Oklahoma guitar album. I rarely play it live. It's called uh, Thunder Alley. Uh, I wanted to call it Tornado Alley, but I thought that might offend somebody. Of course, everybody's having tornadoes. What difference should it have made? It should have been called that. Anyway, off the uh, Oklahoma guitar album. I'm going to play some originals, I'm going to play some cover tunes, some of my favorite pieces uh, that I uh, rarely perform today. Uh, this next one is also off the same album, the Oklahoma Guitar Album. This, folks, is my 18th, I believe, uh, 17th album. I lost count. Got 19. I'm going to be playing a, a little bit of each. And uh, this next song was uh, called Memorial. And it is in honor of our memorial here in Oklahoma City, not too far from us. Uh, God bless everyone who's been affected by that. It's a beautiful song called Memorial.
thank you very much. All right, well, let's do, a, let's do a couple off of my more recent albums. I'm a huge Beatles fan, and uh, when I decided to record a Beatles album, everybody wanted to hear every song, so I think uh, I'm going to have to do at least four albums. So in chronological order, we've got uh, Cruising Beatles, 1962 to 64, followed by Yesterday Tripper, uh, 65 to 66. I will get to the other ones later. Uh, here's a little medley of some Beatles songs. We're going to start off with Yesterday, uh, All My Lovin', Can't Buy Me Love, I Saw Her Standing There, I Feel Fine, um, and there's a couple more. I'll let you guess what those are. Here we go with uh, Beatles medley.
Okay, a few more songs after I feel fine. Uh, Ticket to Ride, Got to Get You in My Life, and Hey Jude. That's off of my Beatles collections, folks. I uh, hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, my name's Edgar Cruz, born, raised, and based here in Oklahoma. Couldn't be more proud to be an Oklahoman and doing this for you guys. Thank you for having me. We're going to do a, a little up-tempo. Uh, well, not that that wasn't, but uh, this is another original off the Pieces of Edgar album. Funny, I just happen to have a bunch of them with me right now. But you can go on my website, edgarcruz.com, and purchase these. Matter of fact, uh, there is uh, some information about uh, tips. If, if anybody's interested in giving any tips, I will happily give you one of my albums. Just leave me your contact information, and we'll follow through. Thank you very much. Pieces of Edgar uh, came out in 2011, 27, I'm sorry, 2007. And this is called Spanish Blood. some short versions because how much time do I got? I don't think I've got what about so far so good okay all right that's the short version of Spanish Blood not to be confused with the album Spanish Blood which did not have that song on there you are welcome to buy both albums if you are can't figure it out that's fine with me all right folks uh, let's do some uh, classic rock uh, this is the most requested song I've ever had it's made me internationally known uh, back in 2005, we put a video up, back when YouTube wasn't as big as it is now, so if you got in there early on, you were getting all the hits. I think I got up to 17 million hits on this song, which is no big deal because 16 million of those were me checking myself out. Here is the Bohemian Rhapsody by the rock group Queen.
Ladies and gentlemen, that came off of my first, one of my first albums, it's actually my second album, came out in 1990, which is now celebrating its 30th anniversary. You know, I'm crazy to do this, but I actually had to reorder five of my old titles, and the only way to make a profit is to reorder a thousand at a time. So, Edgar, who's... Who's buying CDs these days? Oh, my audiences are generally older, still have CD players in their cars and at home, so you'd be surprised. Had I not lost all these jobs because of uh, the COVID, I would have been selling, but it's no big deal. Like I said, I'm giving these away for any donation, any tip you would like to give. Don't just give to me. Give to anybody you want. As long as you're supporting somebody during these times, Give, give, give. I'm happy to give my time. Thank you for asking me to do this. I'm going to play, uh, how much time have we got? Uh, another, 10 minutes. another 10 minutes? Very good. So let me just continue. Uh, that's Classical Demands is the name of that album. The, uh, thank you very much. Uh, the Reminiscence uh, came out in 2006-ish and uh, it's one of the most uh, popular albums that I sell because it's got a nice variety of uh, songs, anything from Hotel California, Girl from Ipanema, the Pink Panther theme, uh, James Bond, MASH, Ode to Joy, uh, a good mix of all genres that I do. Here's the, a little bit of the MASH theme. <laughs> it we all watched it during the day and uh, every time I play that somebody always comes oh yeah yeah I remember that well so I love playing songs that people recognize I do that for a living that's how I've made a living is playing cover tunes so so to he hear those originals that you heard earlier that is actually kind of rare for me but I'm always honored when someone uh, asks for them because I I do have some um, new uh, originals coming up um, and a very eventually a proposed third original album so uh, let me let me see if I can play one for you here. Nope, I'm going to wait. I'll just have to work it out. Here's one of the most requested uh, songs off the same album, Reminiscence, Little Hotel, California. Mm -hmm.
thank you very much, Hotel by the Eagles. Um, I do offer lessons. I give them via FaceTime or uh, Zoom. Uh, I can even do them in person with masks currently. Uh, I do uh, do them in Edmond, but uh, I can even make house calls these days. I'm not working much. I only have just a handful of students. All these arrangements that you are listening to are available in tablature and or notation if you read that. It's all on my website. Uh, my website has my contact information. If anybody's interested, contact me. I've written all these out. I couldn't be more happy to be publishing all these on my own. Uh, it's almost like a piece of art. When you put these notes, they got to look good. They got to be put in phrases. They got to be readable. And I've been doing this for decades. So uh, contact me if you'd like to play some of these songs. I'd really like you to. Well, let's change a little bit of uh, styles real quick. This is off the art of Edgar Cruz. I just happen to have one of these down here as well. Art of Edgar Cruz came out in 2005, no, 1995. And it is the, art stands for acoustic rock transcriptions. Bohemian is a transcription. In other words, uh, when you heard Bohemian Rhapsody, it's just like the band would do it, except I'd put all the parts on the guitar. Same amount of measures, generally almost the same key, just a half step lower. And by the way, I do have a DVD, which I don't have with me, but it is available, Arranging for Solo Guitar, in case you want to learn how to play all these techniques. The DVD is very important, Arranging for Solo Guitar. This next song is by Stevie Ray Vaughan. It's called Pride and Joy. time boss uh, I, it's up to you I can be here all day if you need it. it's not hailing yet oh perfect 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 well, let's see what I what else I got down here once again all my albums are available on my website edgarcruz.com uh, there are a total of 19 uh, a couple of the albums have been uh, collaborated so like the cruise trio and concerts which is out of date out of print and the um, one, two albums with David Hooten, our county clerk. I've got a couple of those available. Christmas was my first. Uh, throw another tape on the fire. I call it the Christmas collection these days. Uh, opening night was uh, very important because it is recorded here in downtown Oklahoma City. I've been honored to uh, play most of the opening nights that ever have been presented since I think 87 is when we started. I was somewhere in the late 80s but they've asked me most of the times. So uh, let me do uh, one more medley for you. I appreciate you guys once again having me out here at Scissors Tail Streams. Uh, this is a classical medley because that's where it all began. I, I majored in classical guitar at Oklahoma City University. I, was, I became the first guitar major out there. Uh, my younger brother, Mark Anthony Cruz, was the second guitar major, and it's grown exponentially. The program's one of the biggest in the nations. Um, and Mark is now teaching at Southwest Texas in uh, San Marcos. So he's the head guitar instructor out there. But we've turned over a lot of great players, and I'm very proud of each and every one of them. 
So uh, just to backtrack, it wouldn't have helped. None of this could be possible without the classical studies finger style. Finger style is a very important way to play. There's only 1% of us in the whole world that play with our fingers and do not use a guitar pick. Matter of fact, ladies, these fingernails aren't even mine. I have to go to the nail shop and buy these once a week. Gentlemen, let me explain. <laughs> once a week I go to the nail shop and have acrylics put on top of my nails. That's when I take a little brush, dip it in some powder, some liquid, they put it on your nails. Before you know it, Hardest nails. Girls, we can compare afterwards when everything is better. I'll see you then. Here's a classical medley. I think I'm going to start off with Green Sleeves, go into Fury Lease and Ode to Joy by Beethoven, and go into a couple from the Baroque period, the Canon in D by Pachelbel, and Bach's Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring. And uh, I'll do a couple more. Uh, let's see if you can guess the last ones. Here's a classical medley. Mm.
last song is called Rhapsody in Blue by Gershwin. That is one that I rarely play live. Once again, thank you folks so much. I do private jobs. I do one-on-ones. I do uh, weddings, banquets, uh, receptions, corporate, uh, schools, churches, uh, concerts, anything you would like me. I am still available for that. As soon as we settle down, I'll be happy to be hired. Uh, contact me on my website, edgarcruz.com. That's C-R-U-Z. You folks have been wonderful. I'll see you next time. Gracias. <laughs>